Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger, and this is 20 things that you can and can't do in the Crew Motorfest. Let's go. All right, before I get into the video, I just want to mention I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Central on kick.com. It's going to be kick.com slash trigger MGC. Come catch me there, ask me questions, and jump into my races. My lobbies are usually always open unless I'm doing something very specific for the stream. So come by and chat or just come by and race with me. All right, let's get into this. So this is a list of things that I've put together after playing the Crew Motorfest beta. It's 20 things that you can and can't do. I've got 10 that you can and 10 that you can't. So let's get into the list. Here we go. You can test drive any car in the store for up to three minutes. However, you can't enter photo mode while test driving. Now this might not be that big of a deal for most people, but it is for me because I wanted to take some really cool photos of some of the more expensive cars for the 20 most expensive cars video that I just put out. But anyways, it's not that big of a deal, but it is for me personally. And I think other people out there that want to take nice photos of cars, it would be nice to enter photo mode while test driving. All right, moving on. You can still open the map and zoom out and fly around like you're in a drone, but you can't zoom out far enough to see the whole thing, even though this map is significantly smaller than the Crew 2's map. Now, this is just a slight problem. I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but I would love to see the entire map. Now, that being said, the map that the Crew has is still one of the coolest user experiences that I've ever experienced in open world racing games because none of the maps allow you to physically fly around and be in a 3D space while looking at the map it's a really awesome map experience however guys i really want to be able to zoom all the way out and see the whole map and speaking of the map you can fast travel around the map but you can't fast travel around the map right when you start the game much like in forza horizon 5 you have to discover certain places that the game calls containers in order to be able to fast travel to that point you can't fast travel anywhere on the map and in the crew 2, you actually had to fast travel to certain locations like the events or the headquarters. And fast traveling to all of the events is not going to be available to you when you first open the game either. You will need to complete the events portion of the 10 playlists in order to unlock the full fast travel for all of the events in those playlists. All right, moving on. You can enter a 28 player race called the Grand, but well, this. You can customize your car in lots of different ways, including the interior, and certain cars have more customization than others, but you can't customize the headlights independently of the front bumper or the taillights independently of the rear bumper or the exhaust independently of the bumper or the headlights. The entire front or rear end of the car is customized together. And I don't really like that. I wish I could pick out individual pieces. Now they do offer you lots of options. And so you can probably find the bumper you like with the taillights you like, and maybe with the exhaust you like, but I don't know if it all flows together. It just would be so much nicer if I could just customize each individual piece and pick out the one that I want one by one. You can work really hard and buy every single car available to you in the Crew Motorfest. However, you can't own every single car in the game if you didn't play the Crew 2. Basically, there are certain cars that you can only get through playing the Crew 2, and some of them were limited time cars that you can't even get now unless they bring them back in an event. I think this will actually affect more players than we think. The Crew 2, despite its popularity as of late, was a super underrated game. It should have had double the number of players it did, but Motorfest has insane hype right now, so I think there will be quite a few players who didn't play the Crew 2 who will be playing Motorfest and who won't be able to own every car in the game. Now, owning every car in the game is going to be a large task. The Crew Motorfest is launching with over 600 cars, and so this is like a lot of things to earn if you didn't play the crew too especially however if you're buying a full price game like this it would be nice to be able to own everything in that game without having to play the previous games in the sequel you can win those grand races i was talking about 
in the default loaner cars because the car performance levels and the affix bonuses, which are the little stat bonuses that you get, do not apply to that race. However, without a custom tuned car, you can't do it easily. The pro settings in this game are extremely important to how the cars handle. I went from finishing in the top 10 with the occasional podium with the loaner cars to seeing the podium regularly with my imported Crew 2 cars with the pro settings already somewhat dialed. Now the handling model in the Crew Motorfest is a slightly different model than the Crew 2 and so the pro settings that you've got on your Crew 2 cars are not really going to translate super well to Motorfest but it's definitely better than the stock loaner cars that you get. You can use police vehicles which are called interception units however you can't run from AI police like you can in Need for Speed. There are no chase mechanics, so if you want to play cops and robbers, you'll have to organize it with your friends. You can switch to other vehicle types at any time in free roam, which is really useful when you're traveling to a destination that's fairly far away. It's much easier to get there with a plane. However, you can't switch to another vehicle when you're in a race or event. This is kind of obvious, but Honestly, finding a counterpoint to this was really tough. This is just an awesome feature that I wish every game had. And lastly, you can fly to the top of the volcano, but you can't fall into a large open volcano pit with lava in it like I know you want to. I know I definitely wanted to do that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. There's plenty more Crew Motorfest content coming your way. Stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions about anything, my DMs are always open to everyone and I read every single message. Thank you so much. Trigger out.